Hi, hello and welcome to another video. First of all, I would like to start this video by expressing my condolences to the family and uh, relatives of the former Chinese President Jiang Zemin and also to extend this feeling to the entire people of China. Now, uh, in line with these recent 20 optimized COVID control measures that were announced in, in Beijing a few weeks ago, Guangzhou, a city where I'm very nearby right now, um, has announced yesterday adjustments to the COVID policy in the city. This has great impact on my situation and that of millions of people. Several districts in Guangzhou saw their lockdown and uh, suddenly, um, even though the city is still reporting about seven cases, 7,000 cases each day. Now, citywide COVID testing has also been stopped. Now, certain areas remain under lockdown, which is something that we're going to discuss in a couple of seconds. It is crucial to remember the enormous challenge of, of coordinating and implementing actions dictated by central government in Beijing through the entire country. Principles and directives that need to make it to the lowest level of management in the communities uh, very often, as you would imagine, um, are interpreted and adjusted according to the realities on the ground for each and every one of those communities. Some local leaders acted with an abundance of caution, while others were more pragmatic in their decisions. So this created different measures in different places. Now, relieving local leaders from responsibility for the spread of the virus and placing that duty of care and the duty of protection in the hands of the citizens themselves ought to reduce the instances where extreme measures were implemented by community leaders. That's, that's a good thing for the people. Now, this change also has its own set of challenges. At a personal level, I, I demand, I, I request a certain degree of social distancing from those people around me. I also see mask usage as common sense, perhaps against the, the thoughts and ideas from many who consider masks uh, that they don't really accomplish anything. Now, it used to be that I could support my requests by referring to national mandates or national uh, uh, instructions. But these changes may mean that I have lost that support. I, for one, will continue to be cautious and uh, I invite you to do so as well. 